Hello, my name's Yvette and this is the double bass and it's the lowest string instrument in the orchestra. It sits behind the cellos and supports the cellos to give that really deep bassy sound. Your notice also is slightly different in shape because although it is a member of the string family, it's and the violin family because everything is basically the same. We have, I'm gonna lift it up, we have a spike. Can you see that? And also it has four strings, bridge. But if you look at the shoulders, you'll see they're sloping. And that really is because it's quite an ancient instrument. And it's actually from a member of the viol family, which was a very ancient string instrument. If I turn it round, you can see it's sloping shoulders. If we had, if the double bass was actually shaped like a cello, it would be quite difficult to get around the instrument. You'll also notice here at the top, we've got a sort of a metal mechanism and that's called the tuning box and tuning mechanisms. And because the strings are so thick and low, we have to have this special system in order for us to tune it so they can take the strain of the low strings. With further ado, let me show you what it sounds like, the bass. So, four strings, but you'll hear it's much lower than the cello. And it's so low, you actually can see the string vibrate, but it's a fabulous sound. Um, the double bass is used such a versatile instrument. Um, you might see it in jazz groups, in contemporary groups, and usually if we use our fingers, we use pizzicato. That's where we pluck the string and we use various, various techniques. Let's see what it sounds like. So it can go on forever and ever, but it gives that really bassy line for, for other instruments to play, play along with. But also, it has a beautiful low tone. And there's a very famous piece that you've probably heard extracts from, uh, from the violin and the viola and the cello of Sasson's Carla of the Animals. And each little piece um, depicts an animal. And the double bass has the most perfect tune. Um, and it's called the elephant. And can you imagine the, the elephant walking around with its trunk and it has this beautiful tune and I'm going to play it to you and let's see what you think about it. like an elephant doesn't it going along it's a fabulous instrument i do hope you've enjoyed seeing all the string instruments and uh, thank you for watching